Hey everyone, Voice in the Wilderness here with Lad from the Woods. Uh, it's still uh, Monday, July 12th, 2021. I just, uh, I'm going to do another video here and it's to talk about something I'm not overly excited about, but I have to give what's due is due. Okay, and this will be pretty much the first thing that I agree I watched this little article on Crystal and Sagar today regarding Joe Biden and these ongoing wars. And uh, he was talking to a news reporter and she asked him, you know, uh, pressed him on like, you know, well, what about these women, you know, that are, that are, uh, you know, going to have all these problems once we leave and da, 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 da. And he answers back, well, what about the, all the people that are in China? you know, that are having this. What about people elsewhere? You know, and he says that they've got, Afghan's got to stand up on their own, but America can't keep going around and doing this. Well, holy fuck, Joe Biden. Did somebody give you some wake up pills or something, lad? Because you're 100% right. That's because people like me, and uh, uh, middle class people on down, are have all been saying that, you know, we're, we're tired of my, you know, our cousins, our brothers, our sisters, our sons, our daughters being shipped off to a grinding machine for a people that can barely stand up for themselves, which is not the shit on them. It's just, let's stop being the American police. Them. That's what Joe Biden said. He essentially said what we have been hearing, uh, me as a kid, and saying myself since the 60s. America doesn't need to be the world's policeman and having the sons and daughters, including Canadians up here, going through these grinding machines, okay? If someone's going to attack, it's going to happen and you can't stop it. No one stopped Japan and steel camera must have been overheating or we'll know in a minute because uh, it'll shut down again, but it shouldn't because I've got tons of room, tons of power, so I don't know. Anyways, I went in, did a few things. I had to calibrate my pH meter for uh, my water, like for, for my plants and things, and I made another cup of coffee. So, so we were talking about Joe Biden, something he actually did, so I gotta give credit where credit's due. Um, this thing where, you know, of course he's sticking to his word about pulling out the troops of Afghanistan, uh, you know, and uh, basically questioning why are we going around all these countries depending other people's, you know, women and things, uh, and then other ones we don't. It doesn't make any sense. So, and of course it, it makes even less sense to keep shipping off, you know, all these, uh, you know, uh, all these you know, uh, you know, family members, cousins, you know, uh, 18 year olds, you know, like coming out of school. It's just insane. And uh, now in a year and a half, we've been through this pandemic. And I mean, even Biden realizes like enough, like enough already, man, like everybody, you know, so these wars have got to be, you know, and he sees it. And I'm like, fuck, finally, you know, why are we being the world's policeman? And I'm like, fuck. So, you know, there's a couple of things that I, I, I thought I'd never lived to see, and one was legal marijuana here in Canada, which of course it is now. And um, uh, then the other thing was, of course, the, um, the UFO subject being treated seriously, and uh, we're finally getting to the point of reveals and stuff, and the government finally admitting, so that's number two. So, you know, and... Uh, Fuck, I had a number three, I can't remember what it was. So it was legal marijuana, it was that. And, uh, oh, the return of the who. <laughs> no, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. Am I wearing their hat? I am too, you know. The, re the rebirth of the, the greatest rock and roll band that ever lived, the who. That new album there, shit. Anyways, so uh, I'll give Joe Biden uh, the credit for that. I mean, uh, hope he can stick with it with everything else because I'd like to see them shut down all the bases. Bring these bring these bases home. Bring all this shit home. And, uh, you know, the money you're saving from all that, you know, <laughs> I mean, you could be helping a lot of people, probably just about everybody, if you shut down just all the American bases around the world that aren't needed, you know. I mean, really, the only bases we need are, like, United States, <laughs> put the ships around and, you know, aim the missiles, uh, whichever way you think they're uh, likely to go in a, an event. 
No, I mean, okay, that's stupid, but I'm just saying that, like, it just, it doesn't make sense, and then keeping all these troops there when, you know, they could be here. Now, they're, you know, people are going to say, well, what are they going to do about work and stuff like that? Well, perhaps Biden will have another brain fart and actually start doing something about jobs in the country, you know. But anyways, I'm not going to get into all that. I'm not hopeful of any of it. So, anyways, I just wanted to give credit where credit was due uh, with... Uh, with Biden, President Biden, whatever, and uh, yeah, what else is there to say? So please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> and uh, if you like, uh, if you like what I'm doing, and I still have three other channels you can come see. Uh, you can check all those links out at Linktree slash Lad from the Woods. And uh, if you want to help support my channels and the like, uh, it's buymeacoffee.com slash Lad from the Woods. Okay, well, everybody be safe, be cool, be happy. Uh, if you haven't got your vax yet and you're getting it, getting it. If you're not getting it, it's nobody's business and don't feel embarrassed and nobody and everybody else out there, you don't, you don't shit shame these people. You leave them the fuck alone. It's their business. Hey, bye. So oh.